everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today has been a long, long day. Like so long, oh my goodness. So today I actually was gonna film a video for you guys and it was me straightening my dyed hair for the very first time. And I went ahead and did that, but I ran into some problems. So what happened was I went and got my hair re-dyed for this video so that I could, um, so that my roots match the rest of my hair because um, I've been doing it myself and my roots turned a little red instead of, and it was like red and kind of blondish and I didn't like that. So I went to go get it redone and then it like didn't turn out the way I wanted it and then I went back to get it fixed again and then I thought it was fine because I saw it curly and then once I straightened my hair, I just, it just was not to my liking. So now this is a video of me showing you all of that and then me how I fixed it and then re-straightening it and yeah. Yes, I straightened my hair twice in one day. Please forgive me, but today was the only day I had, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you right now what my hair looked like earlier this morning when I straightened it the first time. So my hair was very blonde, I just, don't personally and I never wanted blonde hair I wanted like a caramel brown like almost blonde but not blonde just like a caramely brown color like Beyonce you know but without the blonde parts like <laughs> just a caramel light light brown that's what I wanted and so as you can see my hair is very highlighty I wanted one like I personally just like one solid color and I've been wanting just one solid color and that's what I asked for, but it just didn't turn out like that. So yeah, like I'm not bashing anybody, but it just didn't turn out how I wanted it twice in a row. So I went ahead and took matters in my own hands and I went to Sally's. So I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up at Sally's and I made my own little concoction to fix my hair. So this is what I got. Okay, so I went to Sally's and I mixed up my own little concoction. So when I went to the store, I bought these three colors. Um, it's a Wella, this is actually a Demi permanent product because I didn't know exactly what color to get. And I didn't want this mixture to be like horrible, you know, and then <laughs> I'm screwed after that. So eventually it'll fade a little bit, but not too much, I feel like. Um, I got this color, this is a light ash blonde with a light natural blonde and then a medium sandy gold because I like the caramel but I didn't want it too red so I added both of these in it to tone it down a bit and yeah so I got that this little bowl mix it up this right here has one of the leftover so I need to throw that away and then afterwards I washed my hair with Aussie Moist shampoo and then I went ahead and put some Diva Girl Heaven and Hair afterwards to get my hair to feel nice and soft again and then rinsed it out this was a long day <laughs> so my hair went from this to this um as you can just see it's more of a solid color like this is the hair like that i like i don't like highlights i want it like this this is exactly how i want it so i'm glad it came out exactly how i want it so that is what i got to fix my hair so i went ahead and put those in my hair and i left it in for about 30 minutes and then I rinsed it out and then I blow dried my hair again and then re-strained it. So that's what I'm about to show you guys today. So this is how I straightened my hair. And then I also found this really cool tool that I use to straighten my hair in like literally one swipe. Super easy, like I love it. So if y'all wanna see how I straightened my hair and if you wanna see the length of my hair and all, then let's go on ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. Trying to get all the water I can out. So my hair right now has nothing in it, zero products. Um, I'm going to just section it off so I can go dry it into like four different sections. Before I blow dry, I'm actually going to use the Chi Iron Guard. I just spray this throughout my hair before I blow dry it. 
and I'm going to blow dry with my Dyson. Um, I have this attachment on it right now so I get more like accurate air coming out and then I'm going to use just my Denman brush and then we're just going to blow out my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna brush it out first. Okay, so I just did one section. I went ahead and used my denim brush and then I switched off to a round brush to get it a little bit more smooth. There we go, here is half of my hair blowed out. I tried to stretch it as much as I could so the straightening time goes by way quicker. Now it's time to do this side. I'm gonna do it the exact same way. Okay, so now that my hair is blow dried, it is ready to go. Okay, so I'm just going to split my hair in half. So this side I'm gonna go ahead and Twist it up and put it in a bun so it's out of the way completely. And then I'm going to do four sections total. So I'm going to go ahead and split this one. The straightener that I am using today is the Bio Ionic 10X. This actually vibrates whenever you like push it. It's supposed to help with straightening your hair. I really like it. I don't mind not using it you can turn it off but I mean sometimes I use it sometimes I don't it just depends but I'm not like pressed to use it um, and then also I put chi keratin silk infusion in my hair when I straighten my hair I like this gold bottle but I also like the red one as well the chi silk infusion without the keratin both of them are great um, I really just use whichever one I have I just put some in my hand and rub it throughout all of my hair And then while I'm straightening my hair, I use um, a fine tooth comb. And then I also use this little Denman, um, I don't know what it is called. It's like a Denman brush with like a straightener, but it has bristles. I love this thing. It like smooths your hair out. Probably better than a comb. So I'm gonna go ahead and section off a little sliver from the bottom and I'm just gonna keep going up and then I do it again and just go down and this just guides your hair smooth into the flat iron so you don't have to go over it multiple times. Boom! <laughs> so smooth, like literally the smoothest ever. And it's because of this, like this smooths your hair out as you're straightening it. You only have to do it once, literally. Y'all saw that. But and then we can continue to do that and just do more slithers going up. It actually holds your hair pretty tight too, so that when you're going down, your hair is not slipping out at all. This brush literally lifesaver for straining hair if y'all don't have this brush you need it and it's going to change your life literally
Okay, so I just finished one half. You see how silky smooth it is? Even the ends. Okay, so um, this brush right here, I will have it linked in the description box below because this is literally a lifesaver. Like y'all see, I only go over once. And usually with like a comb, you have to go over at the ends at least two times or three, but once literally and you're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to this side. Okay, so I just finished half of my hair. So silky smooth. And y'all see, I literally only went over my hair each piece like one time. If it got stuck at the ends, I had to redo it. I had to go over it a second time. But other than that, mm, so freaking silky smooth. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side, so. Okay, I'm all done now. So lastly, what I like to do is get the Chi Silk Infusion. You see my little flyaways? I go ahead and put a little bit of this on my roots or on anywhere there's a little flyaways. And then I go ahead and put this throughout my hair as well to give it a little extra shine. And it just makes it so silky smooth and so soft and lightweight. So this is my favorite product to use with the heat and then afterwards oh she looking silky like real silky she looking the silkiest of them all <laughs> love it and then if your hair got any little curls then go ahead and just rub your flat iron down on it and then it'll like flatten them a little bit my hair just feels so good right now. There we go. So this is the final look of my hair straightened. The ends look good too. I had trimmed it before, but um, it's really good still. My hair is shorter than it used to be when it was black because I have, I cut it right after. I straightened it like right before I went back curly. I just gave myself like layers and stuff and I didn't really like it afterwards. So I've been letting them grow out now. My hair is still long. Um, it's about almost to my belly button, but it used to be to my belly button. Now it's not, but it's fine. It's gonna grow back. My, my, trust me, these roots grow back every week. <laughs> 
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I know these videos are just super satisfying to watch, that's why I like doing them. And if you aren't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos. And yeah, ooh, she looks like a whole new gal. Who is she? Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Who? Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said, and I will see you guys in my next video.